Hello and welcome to yet another shortcut tutorial. John from the shortcut forums asked how to put a border to a video to make it a square to post it on Instagram, whether this is possible with shortcut. And yes, it is totally possible to use any video editor and then put your video back on the phone and then upload it from there. As an example, he showed us this user. This is a good post as an example. Basically, you can see there's a white border, kind of like a Polaroid. On the left, there's a little white. On the right, there's a little white. There's enough uh, for text down here. We can definitely do this. So let's just go and get started. Here we have shortcut and here we have our video file. We're just going to drop the video file into shortcut. We're going to enable the timeline, drag the video to the timeline. Sorry about that. I'm going to mute this just for, this, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. This is a Creative Commons video by Mario J. R. Matos. And this one I edited it to have a standard resolution. If we go to properties, you can see it's 1280 by 720. All right, so the first thing I want to do is to make this video square because you know, that's a social media thing for Instagram, at least. What we're going to do for that, we're going to press settings, and they're going to go to video mode. And this is usually automatic. And we have to go down, down, down to custom and add. Here, we're going to just call it uh, Instagram YOLO. And we're going to use the smaller of the two resolutions, 720. I think 720 is a good compromise. As far as I know, Instagram max resolution currently is 1080. So that's okay. We can set the aspect ratio to one to one doesn't shouldn't really matter. And frame rate, we're going to pick the one of the video. And everything else we're going to leave as it is. Okay, we're going to press okay. And let's see is anything happening. Alright, so shortcut is a little bit unstable. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to file and file and save, we're not going to export, we're going to save. And we're just going to write uh, Instagram. That's, that's our project name. Okay. Still, still didn't get applied. So we're gonna stop. Uh, I mean, we can just press file and close. And now we can open the file. Here it is Instagram.mlt. We're gonna open this. And here we go. Now you can see it is a square, we're gonna just drag this down a little. So what we kind of would have expected is that uh, instead of this, the bunny is visible from bottom to top and would be cut off on left and right. But that's how shortcut does it. And that is totally fine. We're going to fix that. So now we want to position the video in the middle. It already is um, vertically, but horizontally it needs some cutoffs on the sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. We're going to enable the filter tab and uh, we're going to add a filter. We're going to click on the clip and this can be a bit tricky sometimes. So we're just going to cut off a piece of it. We're going to just click here somewhere and press S. And I'm going to move that piece and resize the original one. And now we can properly click on clips. It's a little bug. You just need to split your track, uh, your clip, and it'll work again. Okay, the plus is now clickable. So we're going to add a video track down here on the screen. And what we're going to add is this, uh, not the scale filter, because that, that doesn't exist. Uh, it's called rotate. And rotate includes a scale option. So we can now zoom out. And this is a bit, uh, maybe a bit too small on, on the top and bottom. So we're going to also add the crop filter. Let's see, where is that crop is over here. And in the crop filter. Come on now. Okay, we cannot resize this area. Uh, in the crop filter, we're gonna crop it a bit on the left. Yeah, and a bit more on the right. Oh, that's that's nice. Isn't that nice? And maybe a bit of the top and no, no. Yeah, okay, a bit more at the bottom. Okay, yeah. perfect. So now what we really want, though, is uh, to have uh, the background white. So to avoid having to create an image file, we're going to just click on file open other. And here we can pick generator color. And we're just going to pick the color white, FF, FF, FF. All right. And that is it. We're just going to press OK. And now we can drag this into our timeline. So let's zoom out a little, a little more. What we're going to do next is we're going to add a new video clip, uh, video track. So we're going to use this drop down menu and press add video track. We're going to resize this so we can better see. We're going to Scroll over here, split this clip, remove this part and zoom back in. Not too much, not too little. 
Okay, and now we're gonna move the bunnies up top. This we're gonna remove and move the white to the left and also resize it so it matches the bunnies. Okay, we're gonna move the playhead a bit out of the way. Come on, I hope you... Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, okay, we have to really get in there so we can do it frame perfect. Okay, there we go. So here we have a frame because everything outside of the video is uh, invisible, transparent. Because of that, we can see the white in the background. All right, so what we're going to add now is some text. So we're going to click on these plus and uh, video filters. We're going to go to text down here. And we're going to scroll down here a bit and set the font color to black. All right. Here we are. It's set to time code, which is not really interesting. Uh, I mean, maybe you think it's interesting for your purposes, but we're going to replace it with something cute. Here we go. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put this at the top. So where do we do that here? Vertical top. And we can also change the position. We can add some padding. I think that's the best idea. Maybe I think 99 is the max. Wait, that doesn't doesn't quite work. Huh? Okay, I guess that's kind of broken. Oh, it's probably just for background. Never mind. So instead, whoop, didn't want to play with the thickness. Let's set the font to bold. And uh, we're gonna be able to set the font size manually. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, I think 48. And also let's, uh, let's change the text to a bit less. And let's also make it right bound. And then we can change the X position to minus 10. And the Y position maybe plus 20. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, minus 20. Let's do this because uh, we're going to add an image here on the left as well. But mm, that's, that's it for the first piece of text. Now we want text at the bottom. So we're going to add another text filter. Just press a plus text and this these are two different ones. And here I'm going to write something different, just some good old hearts. And uh, let's give it a new line. Let's make it three lines of hearts. Okay, we're going to set the font again to black. That depends on your foreground color. And we're going to set a fixed font size. Let's see, maybe 26. Okay, I might have miscalculated. Let's go for 40. Let's mix it up a little so we have only two lines. Also going to set the font to bold. And position it on the y axis about mm, minus 5. Nah, minus 3. Minus 2. Okay, that should be that should be pretty much it. Kind of too close to the border, but hey, it's cool, it's cool. So everything, the only thing that is left is adding an image. I mean, this is already good to go, but let's just add this one more thing. And for this, we need to get the image file, drag it in and drag it to the timeline. And we need to get another new video track. So we're going to just click this and add video track. Uh, let's just resize this so we can see this all good and swell. All right, here we go. And now we're going to move this image to the track above everything else. Right now it's just covering everything. We're going to resize it and reposition it. And for that we're going to use the rotate uh, filter, but let's just zoom in over here. And oh man, oh, oh, these control. Ah, okay, these controls are messy sometimes. All right, we're sizing it and it's done. Okay, cool. Control mouse wheel to zoom out. And now we're just going to add the um, rotate filter. R is for rotate down here. Okay, we're gonna set. Whoa, whoa. Let's resize this. We're gonna set the scale to tiny. Yeah, ten. I mean, it depends on the image. I does it? No, not really. So it depends on the overall layout. So let's give it twelve percent, and we're gonna use the X offset to move it. Uh, what? Scale it down. Move it around. Very, very, very strange. 
Okay, we're just going to reset this. We're going to keep the scale at 12. And we're going to use size and position to... Oh, we can just drag it. Perfect. Let's just check. Everything seems to be fine. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's uh, give it a test spin on uh, in the video editor. Just going to play it back. Cute bunny. And of course, the stuff at the top and at the bottom is not visible. Uh, actually, we can do even more. We can just... Uh, Let's see, let's uh, say at this point, we're going to split the bunny clip. We're going to just click this and press S. All right, and now we're going to, I mean, these two are different clips now. So on the left, we're going to disable one of the texts. That's right. So we disabled that text. And if we play this back, here we go. Then we have kind of an animation. And here we Go. I mean, you could show something that makes more sense than some parts at the bottom, but it's all up to you. So this is it. All we need to do now is export this. So we're going to press the export button and uh, everything is set perfectly fine here. Resolution, aspect ratio, the format, MP4 with uh, libx264 and AAC audio codec. That should all be fine for Instagram and most websites, really. So we're just going to export this. And yeah, it can be called Instagram.mp4. You have to add the mp4 at the end or, or it will not work on Windows at least. And we're just going to save. And now you have to wait until this percentage uh, reaches its end. Over here we can see the file already, but don't touch it yet. And that's pretty much it. Remember to subscribe to support this channel. And I hope this uh, tutorial was useful. Oh, it's already done with the rendering. That's nice. Let's check it out in VLC. And here it is. So cute. Instead of doing all this in uh, Shotcut, you can basically just create an overlay image with a transparent area here in GIMP, for example, and then just overlay it. But that's one of many ways to do it. So before you leave, one more thing, this Instagram.mlt file, you can just save this, okay? And now we can just make a copy of it. I just uh, control dragged it. Let's call it Insta2. If we open this in Shotcut, no, oh, cool, that, that it actually worked. We can now simply replace the video files. So if we open this up and go to filters, we can just, and select one of these clips. We can just drag in a new video. For example, this is another cute bunnies video. Just drag it in, put it over here. Let's see this. Yeah, this one is a bit different. Used it in a previous tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click one of the ones that already have the effects. We're gonna press uh, and here I'm not sure if it really works well. We're going to press this icon. Then we're going to click on this fresh new uh, clip and press this icon. Okay, it copied all four effects. Perfect. So if we delete this and this and move this to the left, it should pretty much work. But because this or a video has a different resolution, we need to crop it more. More at the top, more at the bottom. And I think we need to zoom to use the rotate uh, filter to scale it a bit smaller. Ah, yes, actually, we need to reduce the cropping a lot. Let's just get rid of it in completely. Okay, and now we can start with the whole thing. We're going to rotate it, uh, scale it to the distance we want to have between the video and the borders on the right and left. That's pretty much our deciding factor for the scaling. Yeah, this is good. And now we're going to crop. So we're going to just restart this. Come on now. And a little bit at the bottom. And on the left. And on the right. All right, all good. So this way you don't need to drag in the icon. This way you don't need to drag in the create a background. And uh, yeah, you can save a bunch of time this way. Hey, wait a second. We can actually use this. Go to the end. Ah, yes, then we can click here, split it, and remove. Perfect. All right, another trick learned while making a tutorial. Oh, okay, maybe we should have gotten rid of that intro, but whatever. It's just an example. So I hope this is useful, and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Until then, ciao!